So I'm very excited about my new cart, but the challenge on the Icon i40 is it uses round grab bars in multiple places, and a lot of the accessories are made for square. Like here's a round grab bar here, but then down here you see a square tube, which is a typical grab bar on a club car or an easy go. So after looking around and reading some of the material on the internet and on Facebook, I saw that people liked this particular brand. Some people said they were able to adapt it for an i40. It's pretty straightforward. It comes with a one page instruction sheet. Well, technically two, since there's something on the back and you can see how it's supposed to be installed. I'll show you the parts. So this is the armrest. It's pretty cool. Feels pretty substantial. And you can see it just goes on with a couple of screw holes in the bottom. And you'll see that in the instructions. And they say it's pretty rigid, like I can't bend it, which is a good thing. The hardware brackets and screws look pretty basic. You can see it's pretty good metal and about the length. But the problem is it's square. I should also mention that the Royka um, armrests do come with all the tools that you'd need to put their set of bolts on, but I'm not gonna use their set. So the manufacturer recommends you put these armrests on one of two ways. If you didn't have a fold up seat, <clears throat> you might put them on this way. But since we do have a fold up seat, they actually recommend you put them on this way. This was interesting because I had to look at this on several different cards to understand what was recommended. And you can see the um, straight side allows your seat to go up and down. However, with my adapted brackets, I may be able to still do them on the inside because they're offset and still clear the Icon I-40 fold-up seat. So we're gonna give that a try. So I was looking around the internet on ideas to replace the square bracket and lo and behold, the horizontal bar clamps for LED lights on ATVs and side-by-sides are made for round tubing. Um, there's a number of options out there. It appears the I-40 round tubing is about an inch and a quarter, but I think it's bigger because first I bought this one and it's made for inch and a quarter and it was too small for the bar so then i found this kit from nightlight or unfortunately i ordered them both and uh, for twenty dollars you got four mounting brackets and these are pretty good they are beefy probably a little thicker than i wanted but the benefit of that is it's gonna it's gonna put your seat up I should say your armrest up higher than your seat and help you clear the folding seat, which I'll show you when we get to it. Now, what's interesting about these is they come with one inch, one and a half inch, one and three quarter inch and two inch spacers. As you heard, there's no one and a quarter inch spacer. So, I literally had to really hack and use a spacer for a one inch and a spacer for a one and three quarter inch to make this fit the bar properly. And I'll show you that. So this armrest comes with these screws to hold in this thinner metal bracket, which isn't gonna work. They're not gonna be long enough. So I did have to run to a hardware store and pick up the a little longer, I probably could go a little longer. These are uh, M620, and I probably could go 25 if I wanted to put a lock washer in there. But you'll see I'm gonna screw these on first because they're gonna set my spacing. And, you know, it would be harder to try and put these on the arm bar and then try and determine the spacing. And as you can see on this one, I've already put the larger spacer in there because I know I'm going to use a uh, 
one for the one and a half inch and one for the one inch, um, which is in here, the one inch. I chose to put the one and a half inch smaller spacer on the inside so it doesn't push this closer to where I have to lift the seat up and down. So you can pick up these screws at any hardware store, Ace Hardware, and just uh, replace what came with this kit. You can see I have the seat down to do this work, and I also grabbed a clamp. I think it may be useful when I'm trying to put these um, C connectors together um, for the armrest. I've got the rubber inserted just tight, so you want it to be even with both sides, so you have, don't have a hard time um, putting the clamp together. And then once you get it set, you put it on the bar. So here's the advantage to this hack. Um, as you can see, this armrest is sitting right over the round bar, and I get to have the straight side on the outside of the cart, and it's not sticking out too far. I'm gonna line this up with the curve on the bar and probably just line it up right to where the seat back seat starts. It's a lot easier to line this up um, and put it on loose with the armrest turned down. This is where I'll cheat a bit and grab this C-clamp. So I have it clamped down and I turn the clamp at an angle so I can get the Allen wrench in there. Once again, it'd be easier if you had a longer Allen wrench, but this is catching and I'm able to screw this down and then I can get on the inside one and catch the hole. You gotta make sure you line them up. You can see them in there and get them clamped and you just do them loose. So I have both sides screwed on and before I do anything, I'm gonna loosely move this up, make sure it's level and where I want it. Um, and now we pull up the seat and you can see, you can check and see what clearance you want there. I seem to have, I really don't want it to hit. It's not, I could slide back a hair more. I don't want it to hit because I don't want it to rattle. All right, I don't want this to rattle, but it's pretty solid. So we'll push that down, maybe slide it back a little more. So I have it set, I have it where I want it. Um, you might want to take a straight edge and put it next to the seat so you can measure both sides. So if you just took anything that looked like a straight edge and just put it there, you can see where you are so that when you do the other one, you can roughly be in the same spot. But this is in the right spot so that the top goes up, the, uh, the seat, I should say, goes up and does not hit does not hit the armrest. So once you have it in place, probably the last step here is to make sure you tighten everything down, check all of these, get them cranked down, um, all of these Allens. And again, the longer Allen wrench is always better. Even if I had a longer one, it'd be better. And then I would probably just come under here and Tighten down the screws one more time. You could probably go a little longer and maybe go an M6 by 25 and then put a washer, lock washer in there. That might not be a bad idea. But you can see how um, beefy these mounts are. And there it is, the finished product. We've got two armrests on there and they are very comfortable. So here it is, the new Icon i40. Well, new to me. And uh, with my first customization, using a hack of adding these light bar, horizontal light bar mounts to put my armrests on. Have a great day.